Channel my inner Dismo. Come on, let's go. Everybody's at top. We're all. Everyone's on the Gustav. Oh, I miss. I choked that one, dude. I gotta be careful of that sniper, though. Mark it up. Nice score. We got the ball. Move it. Recon aircraft awaiting orders. Recon searching for target. We got the ball. Move it. Mark it up. Nice score. We got the ball. Move it. I had to kill him. I used my gun there, yo. Holy shit, I'm already on a 14, chat. That's him. If you guys enjoyed the video after you get done watching, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Turn notifications on to never miss a live stream or a video. All right, YouTube guys, what is going on, man? So I'm going to take you guys through one of my V2 rockets to kind of just break down everything I do in-game so you guys can understand, like, why I move, why I go here, why do I do this, why do I challenge this gunfight. I want you guys to be inside the mind of an actual good Call of Duty. I think I'm a good Call of Duty player. I think I'm the best, but I think I'm pretty good, 2.85 KD. So I want to see if you guys can learn anything from tips and stuff like that. Guys, guys, if this video helps you at all, please go in the comment section below let me know if I should do another one of these. Also, by supporting the video, by dropping a thumbs up, it will let me know that you guys want more like stuff like more in depth stuff like this because i get post v2 rockets all day but the thing that people don't know is they want to learn how to get those so i'm gonna try to break it down in today's video for you guys so anyways let's start this is one of my v2 rockets from stream that i got um and i'm kind of just breaking out as the gameplay goes on and stuff like that so let's go ready in three two one go so on flat tower i have a certain route that i always take um and it's always down the middle right here i always need that spot in case someone's camping and i kind of just run up here so you get a nade kill Boomy bop. Next, I go to the right because there's usually guys camping on this side of the. Yep, there he goes. And I pick up another guy because I spawned in late game, so I figured people always go on that right side. And then I make my way toward bottom middle, and there's usually I got lucky here. That guy was just he was just really bad. I couldn't. I always like working this spy spy art right here because this head glitch is mean. The kids always want to come back because they're revenge killers, so they're always gonna try to challenge me on this head glitch. And sometimes they will nade that spot uh, if they're really, really smart. But now I lay here because they're going to push out because they're tired of being stuck in there. And, uh, and I kind of just chill here and be patient. I'm really patient in this spot. This is a good spot to be in the spawn. Kind of chill. You reload, regain, see where they're going to be at. And now I just I start going in right now. See, I start pushing the spawns. I got my UAV. And yeah, man, I just work the map. Now that I have the UAV, it makes like maneuvering the map so much easier. Now I just, I'm just picking off guys left and right, man. I got the suppressor on just, you know, I don't really need a suppressor at this moment. And I knew the guy would spawn right there. So now I'm freaking out because the whole left side is open and this bottom bunker is open. So I'm kind of like trying to watch my back at the same time. Um, you'll see me like go over to this left side as well, which I usually never challenge this right here. That was a bad challenge for me. I usually would never do that. But um, next I pull out the bar. Check the long range because I know the guy's about to spawn. Um, now I reload. I regain. My teammate has my back right there. He's inside the bunker. And now I get pick off these guys in the middle, man. Like I said, once you get that UAV, it's kind of really easy to break it down. But now I know the guy has a shotgun, so I try to flank him. Um, next, I go to this bottom bunker because they're going to be spawning here again. They're going to keep flooding this on Flock Tower. This is just something they flood all the time, man. Um, and I just try to... My teammate's pushing out, so I'm going to push out. You know, pick up the scrap kills that he doesn't get. And then I dip out. Um, yeah, because I kind of use my teammate as bait here. And I know this guy's pushing middle, so I pick him off right here. I just set myself up in every situation to, to like, win gunfights, to win the best. If I get joked, I get joked, you know what I mean? So now my teammate's, uh, you know, he's occupied with that. I'm still checking this bottom bunker. And uh, I pick out the, I see that guy, I pick him off with the bar, at least I try to. See, now they're in our spawn, so I'm dipping out to where my teammate is at. I'm going to the right side. I didn't go to the left, I went to the right. Um, I'm using the bar to its advantage. I'm just trying to stay at a range against these guys. Um, because I know for one, one has a shotgun, and uh, two, uh, they're spawning on me. So I'm trying to get on a fat head glitch and just trying to just, you know, pick these guys off. I know I'm close to the V2. Um, I'm run running low on ammo, so I'm kind of just, you know, working this side. As you see, I'm slowly moving up the, their spawn right here. 
trying to get some easy kills. I hear the sniper over here, so I figure this is an easy kill. Take him out real quick. Then I just kind of watch my back as you see they pick them off as they're spawning up. I don't keep challenging though because I know that guy has a sniper, so I'm not going to challenge again like in that same spot because he'll probably just be pre it with a sniper. So I dip out, maneuver around to the spawning. As you see, the sniper was looking for me. He was looking for me right there in that same spot. And um, as you see, they're coming out. They're like, oh my God, they're in our spawn. So as you see, I'm just picking them off left and right, man. Um, now I check our spawn. I know they're spawning down this left side right here. Teammate took an L, so that means I got to clean up his kills. As you guys see here, man, it's just it's just like a rotation. Let's see what I'm doing now. So basically, I'm just I'm just surveying the map, trying to figure out where they're spawning at, and another I'm out of ammo now. So now I'm freaking out. I gotta figure out, you know, I gotta get a gun. So now I'm searching for one. This is a tactic I you highly recommend, guys. You always gotta pick up a weapon, no matter even if you have scavenger. Like I got lucky with a PPSH there, but um, sorry if I'm talking really fast. The gameplay is going really fast, so I'm trying to keep up with it. And the nades just roll. You see the nade it roll like all the way down to the steps. I thought a suppressor on because I'm in their spawn and I, I'm really close to the V2 and I don't want to choke this man. There you go, I got the V2 Rocky man. So, like I said, it's just all it is is about you know being self aware. You know, that's basically uh, self aware that you don't have any ammo, self aware that the enemies are where they're spawning at, and just honestly putting yourself in the best, best position to win. Um, that's kind of how I maneuver Flag Tower. There's also another V2 rocket I could probably show. Um, as you can see, those die right side, and I knew the guy was coming that way, so, um, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy, hopefully this actually made sense, and you guys got some tips from it, um, I hope, I hope you guys did, man, because I, I like to break stuff down like that, like my thinking during in-game as well, I something that's really critical. Hey YouTube, so now I'm going to take you guys through a streak where I die off of. So something I choked and I'm going to tell you guys, kind of breaking down what I could have done to, you know, better myself. You know, I, I, I want to show you guys what happens when I like when I, my thinking process and why I die off my V2 rocket. So uh, I think you guys will enjoy this part. So let's get into it. Anyways, guys, this is one of my V2 rocket streaks where I died off of. So as you see, I'm with the MP40 on Gibraltar. Working that middle is so key because the thing about Gibraltar is the map is designed to and whoever has control of middle ha will pretty much dominate. Um, as you guys see, I'm rocking these head glitches. They're coming out of spawn. I'm trying to get freaky with the sniper. And stuff like I know this guy's pushing down here, so I lay down. Guys, whenever you're in gunfights, man, put like a, diff a person on the opposite team is not going to expect you to be on the floor, like uh, coming around a corner. So whenever people are coming around corners, lay down, man. They're not going to expect that. See, as you guys see, I'm kind of just maneuvering the map, kind of going up and down. Um, and just trying to play it smart, man. Get these easy streaks. And I punch that guy because there's no other way I was going to win that gunfight. As you guys see, I go up back and forth up on these stairs because I know they like pushing both these sides. As you guys see, I'll lay down right here just because no one's going to expect this, bro. Like I said, I lay down. He's not out of come around that corner. He's not looking down below. You know what I mean? So um, I picked that guy off right on them because I just knew he was up there, man. So now I push this spawn because they don't expect me to get right in their face right now. He's coming off spawn thinking, all right, I'm going to kill this kid who's camping right here, but I'm already in his face, man. Um, as you guys see, I got another MP40. Pick up a bar right here. And now he's in the window. There's a gunner on that window, so I never, ever, ever challenge that gunner, man. Ever. Like, I never even peek that. Um, I, I peek it for a quick second. If no one's there, I push it. If not, then as you guys see, I'll peek it. I'm out. Nope. Don't even try, man. Don't even try to challenge that thing. Now I know there's a resistance guy somewhere, and I just keep trying to maneuver, man. Gibraltar, this is this is the goat spot right here. This that's the G spot. Those little stairs when they're pushing, that that those stairs where you can get kills just back and forth down here is so critical, man. Um, because the guys who are pushing the spawn never really look down those stairs. They're looking across the way on the balcony. As you guys see, I'm just getting these easy kills, man. I'm telling you, the stairs, the G spot. See, I know guys like pushing down there, so I stay on the G spot and I just keep getting these easy kills with Gibraltar, man. Um, like I said, this is such a money spot. Um, I call it the shmoney spot, you know what I mean? So, as you guys see, I choked the kill right there. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this side because I feel like they're not going to be here. Like, it's just an intuition. Now, I'm just sitting here waiting, being patient, um, waiting for them to spawn. But no one's coming here. My teammate just spawned in the back, so I know they flipped. I know they're flipping the spawns now because my teammates are spawning in the back. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this guy off. Okay, well, I'm about to die here. So, um, but yeah, I know they're spawning out. I know they're going to spawn over here. Um, now I just set myself up. People usually don't expect people to be on these stairs right away. As you guys see, I literally push these stairs. The enemies are walking up. They're not expecting a guy to be sitting right on their stairs waiting for them. Um, as you guys see, I'm getting these easy kills. Peek in middle right here. Um, and now I flank. Now I'm going to go up these stairs. I be careful because it's really cautious. I've gotten caught off guard where there's usually guys in that window. 
So now I lay down, be patient, let this guy walk by, kill him. Another guy, I have a suppressor so that I don't know where I'm at. I'm on a 20 right now. Now I pull out the bar to get these easy long range kills. And uh, I'm feeling confident right now. You know, I got a teammate next to me who's helping me with the kills. I got a teammate behind me. But the thing is right here is bad. I didn't notice, man. Both my teammates left, and now I'm getting pushed. I have to lay down, try to get an easy kill, but I get pushed, and uh, I made a mistake there. I just, I completely backed off of the gunfight. Both my teammates bounced on me, so I didn't, I wasn't aware of that, so that's why I died, man. So hope you guys did enjoy that, man. Um, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have kept challenging. I should have went to the left side and kind of just kept working around the map, because if I stay on the head glitch, they're eventually going to nade it, pre-aim it, get a lucky headshot with high caliber, stuff like that, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Stay up, stay blessed, guys. I hope this video helped you guys a lot, man. It was something different. I try to think of a creative way to give you guys tips and break down my own gameplay. I'll see you guys later, man. And if you stayed until the end of the video, make sure you put a hashtag mind in the comment section below, guys. I'll see you later, man. He's gonna grab your bitch, she a thought, trying to check off her top. Ooh, my brother just burned out the lot, had to go cop a phone just to drop at the top. Ooh, I gotta watch for the ox, put a drum on a Glock, that's a whole hundred shots. Yeah. Niggas won't beef with the game, on the web, a whole time they be telling the cops. I'm up in trap, you know that my pistol be clapping, run up, you think it